And we are live. Welcome for this weekly live stream on the latest and greatest news in Ethereum AD and DeFi. I do this every Monday at 11 p.m. UTC plus 8. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, your host. And on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. And quick announcement. This week, we are going to do a live training on smart contract security. So if you are interested, I'm going to copy paste the link in the chat for your information smart contract security this is the skill that pay the most in the blockchain industry and for this live training we have found an expert in smart contract security so i copy paste the profile of the instructor suhil in the chat this is not a developer that just learned security yesterday this is someone who has been into cybersecurity for more than seven years. So you're gonna get a top instruction here. Um, next, another service announcement. So if you are interested in being an instructor for Eat the Blocks, we are hiring instructors. If you want to apply, you can apply here. So basically the big benefit beside of course making uh some money is also that you get a lot of credibility when you are an instructor so uh, if you have let's say between one to two years of experience in the blockchain industry you can definitely apply personally is how i got my career started in the blockchain industry by teaching other and finally final service announcement another thing we are launching also is a DeFi incubator. So it's basically, we provide technical advisory, strategic advisory, as well as financial resources to a new DeFi project on EVM compatible blockchain. So Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and all the other EVM compatible blockchain. If you are interested, check out this page. You can send us your application and we will get back to you. Okay. So hi everybody in the chat. Today we have Crypto Mikkel, we have Paras, we have Dan, Abracadabra, TSX. Hi guys. So we're going to start with the price of Ether. So it's the second week of recovery after the big market crash two weeks ago. So, so far so good. I hope you didn't sell guys because we are going to recover. I can tell you that. And if we look at the price of ether, of uh, the price of uh, gas, it keeps going down recently, which is very good. We haven't seen gas price like this for a long time, so it's very good for user for the usability of Ethereum. And the big question is, why do we see this now? So one part of it is the effects of something that we call flashbots. It's a new mechanism to do the bidding of gas price outside of the blockchain. And this has been very, very helpful. And another reason is because now we have more and more layer two, layer two scaling solutions like Polygon, which start to become more and more popular. So finally, you start to see that the transaction fee problem on Ethereum uh, start, to, start to be resolved. Uh, then, we had an interesting tweet storm about statistic on of Ethereum. So Ethereum flipped Bitcoin for several metrics in May. First, we have the minor fee. Um, so the minor fee on Ethereum were higher than the minor fee on Bitcoin. This hasn't happened since a very long time. So this metrics is very, very important because basically security depends on the minor fees. So that means that the security on Ethereum start to be better than on Bitcoin. Uh, another matrix that was very important is the options. So basically the options on Ethereum start to be a, a 60, the trading of this option start to be 60% of the Bitcoin options. That's a growth of more than three times compared to the previous months. Uh, most of these options are traded on an exchange called Deribit. And yeah, so that really show you there is more interest in Ethereum very recently. Um, then, 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 one of the big news of the week is about Space Chain. So Space Chain is a company that want to do blockchain in space. 
and they have launched a flight to the International, International Space Station with an Ethereum node. So now Ethereum is in space. So I'm not sure if it's connected to Ethereum mainnet or if it's a private network running the EVM. I, I think it's the second case. Uh, there are some very significant technical uh, challenges if you want to run blockchain in space because you have a lot of latency in order to communicate with uh, with this satellite you have a lot of latency and so um, you can have a lot of problem of uh, forking in, in the network so I don't think we have solved this problem yet I think we will solve them at some point but eventually if we really want to truly achieve the, the vision of a, a decentralized blockchain that is completely censorship free we do have a point of failure which is governments are able if they want to uh, to shut down part of the internet and try to filter the traffic to uh, basically to censor blockchain transactions but in the future when we will have uh, a lot of service internet service provider who have satellite in space so we already have elon musk who is uh, launching his fleet but when they start to generalize it's going to be much harder for for nation states to to censor uh, this part of the network so really i do believe if we want to achieve the true vision of blockchain we we need to have blockchain in space and that's what space chain is doing by the way i do think that Space Chain is one of the coolest company in the space. Um, the CTO is Jeff Garzig, who is a, a Bitcoin heavyweight. He's been uh, in the blockchain industry for, for a long time. So really great guy, someone who is really, really knowledgeable. Actually, uh, I think it was sometime last year, I, I was in discussion with them to, uh, to work for them. But unfortunately, um, I was too busy uh, on Eat the Blocks. But yeah, like I think these guys are doing something super interesting and super, super important. Um, next, 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 we have some metrics about Ethereum 2.0. So there is more than 5 million Ether that has been locked into Ethereum 2.0 deposit contract. So it's less than 5% of the total supply of Ether, which is 116 million of Ether, but still it's going up. And the more Ether you have locked in this contract, the more bullish it is for Ether because this Ether cannot be sold for a few years until Ethereum 2.0 migration is finished. So it's a metric to keep an eye on. Um, then... Then some news about Gnosis. So Gnosis, which is uh, one of the first company on Ethereum, uh, was launched in uh, 2016. Originally, they were doing um, a prediction market, but in the meantime, they started to do a lot of different things. And so they've announced that uh, they're going to release a next generation Ethereum client. So it's going to be based on Open Ethereum, which was based on... Um, on on uh, th this this client of uh, parity technology I, I forget the name uh, basically it was the the client written in rust uh, then i think it became uh, a turbo geth and uh, and now they decided to rewrite it from scratch because the, the code base is too old it's 200,000 line of code so they they need to to start from scratch they cannot refactor anymore and so for this new version of the this new ethereum uh, node the, the disk footprint is going to be much lower. So it's going to be 1.2 terabyte for an archive node, which is the, the, uh, the most um, comprehensive kind of node you can have, and 430 gigabyte for a prune node. So that's a significant improvement compared to what we have now. Um, it's going to be more resilient to crash. It's going to... Uh, it's going to have some API for developer, like one, uh, one which is called Parity Trace. Um, and a lot of improvements. So it's um, even though we have a lot of a lot of the attention is focused on Ethereum two, we still have a lot of work going on to improve Ethereum one. Um, then, 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 then about layer two scaling solution. So news from zk sync, which is about to release their alpha version, and um, and so now they they do have support for solidity and another programming language which is called uh, zinc but i do think that solidity is probably going to be much more popular because there is it's easier for for developers to to deploy this smart contract 
Um, yeah, so curious to see how uh, what's going to happen with this uh, layer 2 scaling solution. We have a lot of news for layer 2 scaling solution and that's really the key to for Ethereum to get back its lead over the other blockchain and probably in the second half of the year we're going to see a, a big movement back from other blockchain back to Ethereum thanks to all these uh, layer 2 scaling solution that, that start to be uh, live and operational. Um, then, then, then we're going to talk DeFi. So first we're going to start with the market cap of DeFi. So we are going back up again with almost 70 billion locked in DeFi. For the number of Ether locked is still quite stagnant. So we are still far from the, the peak of a few months ago. But uh, I do think very, very fast uh, we're going to be above 100 billion again. Uh, that was just a temporary blip on the chart but we're gonna be back uh, in the in the upward direction no problem here um then i'm gonna show you a couple of cool graph uh cool um metrics for for DeFi. so these are some public dashboard that you can find on a uh, dune analytics um so there is this chart that i find interesting to show you the daily dex volume so we had a big peak uh, around may 20th um and here we are clearly super super down um then this graph is pretty cool is the number of DeFi user so here the total number of DeFi users so this is super super important to monitor 2.5 million user for DeFi. Uh, uh, to give you a comparison i think for metamask we are between 5 to 10 million uh, active users for each month and here it's breakdown for different protocols so here you can see like compound is a uh, Stalling a little bit, Uniswap keeps, keeps growing, Balancer, etc., etc. Uh, then another dashboard, pretty interesting, is uh, focused on lending. So here you can see the relative strength of Aave, Compound, Maker, DAO, etc. So this is this can really give you some color about the importance of of different uh, protocol. Um, then another dashboard about Bitcoin on Ethereum. So uh, what's interesting is that we almost have more activity for Bitcoin on Ethereum than for Bitcoin itself. So that really show you how Ethereum is really a black hole for liquidity, can really absorb any kind of liquidity, including a lot of assets that are not native to Ethereum. Uh, and the last dashboard I wanted to show you is a dashboard about gas prices. So here, for example, you can see the gas cost for the typical action for the recent gas price. So you can see that uh, the, these gas costs are very, very reasonable compared to a few weeks or even a, a few months ago. A few months ago, sometime it was very usual to pay like 100, 200 bucks for just one action. And here, finally, for most of these action, we are below 10 bucks. So it's very, very good. Finally, uh, we are slowly but surely solving this problem of the Ethereum transaction fee. Um, and um, yeah, so that's it for this dashboard. So next, I'm going to show you the top DeFi token. So this so this week we have more green than red, so which is very good. Um, so first, the token of uh, Enzyme, which was uh, formerly the the Melon, the Melon token. Uh, so they announced that uh, now their token can be traded on Matic. Uh, also a project called Unslash Finance actually worked for them. Uh, they deploy 40,000 Ether from the, the um, from the Spartan bucket to the Curve Finance using uh, using uh, Enzyme Finance. Also, a uh, second project with a big increase is World Swap. So they do cross-chain polygon transaction. And, uh, and they've done an airdrop for their holders. They've also done a token buybacks. Um, actually, I believe that token buybacks are more effective that, uh, compared to token burn uh, when it comes to price support. Uh, then we have Uniland Finance UFT, also a nice progression, plus 60%. So this is a lending protocol available on Polygon. Uh, this is flagged as a trending on CoinGecko. Um, then what's we, what we have, we have a Tornado Cash, which is a uh, basically a privacy a privacy solution. So uh, there was a couple of of coverage this news about uh, Tornado Cash. Um, 
there was also a governance protocol this week so like some some action for tornado cash and then what do we have we have the token of kyber so there was a, a mainland beta, beta launch for a new version of uh, kyber they now have a dynamic market maker protocol so we can see like all the the decentralized exchange are getting more and more sophisticated and uh, and yeah so after this they had a big increase okay so next we're gonna move on with the specific news of DeFi projects so first uniswap so uniswap v3 will be deployed on arbitrum after a community vote so arbitrum is another l2 scaling solution um okay so then 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 we have we have this uh oops why well, i can't see this uh oh reload uh yeah then we have this dashboard for uniswap v3 so this allow you to uh, calculate your the, the fee you're going to earn as a liquid provider so uniswap v3 is a little bit more sophisticated so you can't just put your token and just magically earn money you need to set some parameters so with this tool you can estimate uh, basically how much fee you would earn with such and such parameter so if you want to be an LP on Uniswap probably it's going to be a tool that you're going to need to use um, then 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 some news from Curve Finance which is Curve Finance um, one of the leading decentralized exchange for uh, stablecoin the big innovation of Curve Finance compared to other DEX is that it has another uh, price equation that allowed to have a less slippage for, for stablecoin. And so both Yearn Finance and Convex Finance are using the, the token of Curve Finance, which is called a CRV, that's the, the governance token of, of Curve Finance. And so, yeah, they are fighting for this CRV token, so it's very bullish for this token uh, at the moment. Uh, then, 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 some news from Matcha. So Matcha is a DEX aggregator. So it uh, it basically um, basically allow you to to optimize your basically uh, it allow you to optimize your, your trade. You don't have to to select a specific DEX. You just say, hey Matcha, I want to execute this trade. Just find me the best price on whatever exchange. So it's a little bit like one inch. And so they've released their biggest update ever, Matcha 2.0. So now, big, big update. They're going to enable fiat purchase thanks to a new partnership with MoonPay. So this is super important. We need to build these on-ramps directly into DeFi so that we don't rely on centralized exchanges like Coinbase, etc. Um, then they're going to... They're going to have a unified multi-chain product experience with support for Polygon. So that's really, really huge. Uh, yeah, and a lot of lot of other updates. So very good for Matcha. Then news from a project called ARCX Sapphire. So this protocol, well, basically what they do is on-chain reputation. They're going to issue a DeFi passport for uh, for each address, and you are going to be able to to build your your reputation on chain. So this is extremely important because currently, for all the lending protocol in DeFi, you always have to provide a collateral, but that's very different from uh, centralized finance where you can borrow money just based on your credit score. If you already need to have some assets to borrow money, it means we only lend to the rich. If you if you don't already have money, then we can never lend you money. So that's, that's not right. It's really a big limitation of DeFi. So uh, with this, we will see the, the emergence of a new, totally new category of a lending protocol that don't require I don't require to uh, to post any collateral. Uh, you have to know that this is a very controversial issue. There are a lot of uh, of uh, famous figure in the blockchain industry that are against system of reputation on chain. That, uh, for example, Vitalik Buterin is really against that kind of system. But I, I believe it's interesting to see how the experiment is going to play out because we need to find a way to have lending protocol that lend. Uh, without requiring you to already have money or otherwise we only lend to the rich. So I do think this is the key piece of the DeFi infrastructure. Um, then, then, then 
some news from one inch which is another dex aggregator so they've added support for flashboot transaction so this will allow you to uh, lower your gas fee basically um, so it's cool to see more and more DeFi protocol that support flashboot because this is the key reason why the, the fees are going down okay so now we're gonna talk of nft so this is the metrics from dap radar so we can see the metrics from the last seven days with the biggest nft collection so nba top shot um bro ape axie affinity so these are collection that we see every week uh rari bell also one of the top uh exchange for nft so rari the same crypto punk and uh and, and, and what do we have in terms of change? So the, the volume of OpenSea is going up a lot. So plus 65% so OpenSea, which is the, the leader really for uh, NFT trading. Uh, Axie Infinity has a double in volume in, uh, in one week. Um, then for the top sale of NFT for specific NFT. So we had, we had a couple of, uh, we had this land we had a, a land NFT, so I think that was in a, in a crypto game, um, in, a, in a real estate game, I think. Um, then we have this uh, this robot for 236k. Um, what do we have? We have this thing, this dream thing for uh, for how much was this? For yeah, 150k. Uh, and this this uh, i think it's a me is it me bits yeah a me bits so me bit is like a famous collection for 145k uh yeah <laughs> all right um then some news about a startup a data privacy startup that's going to do data privacy with nft they raised 2.3 million dollar from investor in hong kong um, and um, yes, yeah, so I really, really don't know how it's going to work because it's super hard to do privacy on the blockchain and they want to do this with, with NFT. So yeah, super, super curious uh, what's going to happen with, with this startup. Uh, okay, uh, then, then a new EIP, so Ethereum Improvement Proposal for NFT. Uh, so basically this all uh, this it is a, a proposed standard for fractional ownership of nft with a built-in system for royalty distribution um so i guess every time the nft will be transferred there will probably be a transaction fee that will be redistributed to the the holders of the nft it actually gives me an id for a tutorial because i think yeah, I think I could do a tutorial like this. Yeah, so if you're into NFT, check out this EIP. Um, then still for NFT, we have this new project called NFT Storage. So it's a free decentralized storage for uh, NFT that is built on IPFS. Uh, this, so this is currently in beta and uh, it basically is going to improve the developer experience if you want to create an, an NFT and, and you want your NFT to be completely decentralized. So the, the most simple thing with NFT is to just put the, the metadata, so which means the, the image, etc. You can put the metadata on a centralized server and just have the just have the name of the NFT uh, on, on the blockchain with the with the ownership. But if you want your NFT to be completely decentralized, you can also store the image uh, on IPFS. But IPFS, as it is now, you uh, as a developer, if you if you don't know IPFS already, you need to do some work. So with NFT storage, this is going to be an API basically that allow you to use IPFS in a very very simple way, uh, especially for NFT. So it's good for NFT growth. Um, then, 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 there is this article on the Defiant that talks about the influence on of NFT on a digital artist. So, yeah, really explain how artists from all over the world are joining this NFT revolution, and uh, and how it really enable a whole a whole new category of of jobs basically because a lot of these artists maybe they, before they were. They were doing this as a hobby, but they had maybe some some other job to pay the bill. But now they can actually consider doing this full time. Um, 
then we're going to talk of uh, enterprise blockchain and regulation so first some news from coinbase so now you can use your coinbase card with apple pay and google pay it's really really huge and you can earn up to four percent in crypto rewards on your shopping one percent cashback in bitcoin four percent cashback in stellar lumens so for now it's only for us citizen so it's kind of strange because usually in crypto us citizen has the last one to get access but this time they are the first one um so I, I, this is super important because basically coinbase a lot of banks see coinbase are, as just a crypto exchange but actually little by little is going to turn in turn it into a um, turn into a crypto bank people are just going to leave their crypto their crypto on coinbase and and they're going to use their, their their coinbase card to do some shopping uh so we're going to they're going to attract more and more assets so very very interesting um then 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 some updates from google so google banned all advertising about crypto services is sometime in, in 2017 because at that time there was a lot of scam with icos etc but they uh, updated the, the terms of services and now we can we can do some advertising for uh, exchanges and wallets so only banks uh, and uh, an institution that are registered as a money transmitters but it's good to see them being a little bit more more flexible then we are going to talk about bitcoin so the bitcoin price slipped because uh, of some news from china so weibo which is basically uh, twitter in china decided to suspend the accounts of a crypto influencer um and um and yeah so bitcoin price dropped by over three uh, percent just after that so china is quite uh is quite strict for with crypto recently uh, then still news about china so um there is this big crackdown on miners in china and so uh, miners are, are exploring the option um after they they were basically kicked out of china um so and it's it's a big issue in the bitcoin world because there is a large portion of the the hash rate of bitcoin that is in china i think this is something like 30 or 40 percent um yeah uh then we are going to another part of the world in south america in el salvador so the president of el salvador announced that there there was a proposal to declare bitcoin illegal tenders that means you will be able to pay with bitcoin legally um and uh and there was this tweet interesting tweet about el salvador great weather world-class surfing beaches beachfront properties for sale one of the few countries in the world with no property tax no capital tax gain for bitcoin since it will be a legal currency immediate permanent residence for crypto entrepreneur wow wow that's that's great um okay uh then 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 we have some news from uh from the con the bitcoin conference in miami so uh, you know with all the covid stuff all the conferences came to a halt for a long time so uh this is the first crypto conference for what since a while and uh the ceo of twitter was on stage and so he discussed his views on bitcoin um, and he reiterated his commitment to make bitcoin the native currency for the internet so I don't know what it means. Maybe we'll see some um, integration with Bitcoin on Twitter. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it means exactly. Um, but it's always good to have some uh, big billionaire supportive of Bitcoin, except if it's Elon Musk. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. Um, then, then, then. Then, then, then. Okay, so. Okay, I'm missing some. I'm missing some tab here. I forgot to open some tab. Okay, so quickly we'll talk of other blockchains. So on the Binance Smart Chain front, so there was a large number of uh, of projects that were hacked recently on Binance Smart Chain. So on Twitter, Binance Smart Chain uh, issued some best practices for new new projects. So yeah, they are they are not really happy about this. Um, then some news about Solana. So. Um, there is a new NFT marketplace um, which has been launched on, on Solana. 
Um, also, Solana is raising 450 million in a bid to take on Ethereum. So we do have a lot of activity on Solana these days. I check out the doc of, Sol of Solana quickly to see how difficult or how easy it would be for a developer. And it seems it's not that easy because they use uh, Rust as their programming language for smart contract. So I need to do more research, but at first look, it doesn't look super easy. Um, then, then, then another, okay, another tab I'm missing, but basically you can Google the full May report on uh, of DAP radar. So this is a report for, for the DAP market. And um, so the leading blockchain in terms of unique active wallet was a Binance Smart Chain. Uh, PancakeSwap was the leading DAP uh, with 350,000 daily unit, unique uh, active uh, wallets. It's, it's just huge. A few hundred thousand of daily active users. Wow, it's really, really huge. 80% um, of the total value locked generated uh, in all, across all blockchain belong to Ethereum DeFi. Um, then, 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 a very important stat on the DAP market, Polygon, so so a growth of 1,100% in total value locked. So guys, I've been telling you since months, like Polygon is going to be the next Binance Smart Chain in terms of, of market cap and everything. So you got to be, you got to get started on Polygon. And actually uh, w the live training of last week on uh, on Eat the Blocks Academy was on Polygon. So uh, check it out if you are interested because... A lot more and more you will see a blockchain company that requires skills on polygon uh, okay and the last news okay so i'm still missing the tab unfortunately but last news so alchemy which is an api for a, a ethereum developer alchemy launch uh, started to support arbitrum so arbitrum is a l2 scaling solution and um, yeah, so now if you want to develop on Arbitrum, you can use the API of uh, Alchemy, so it's uh, it's much easier. Okay, so now we're gonna do the Q and A. Um, okay, okay. So yeah, so quickly as a reminder, so this week, this week we will have a live training on smart contract security. So smart contract security. This is the scale that pay the most in the blockchain industry. So it's a very, very, very good idea to to specialize in this. You can follow the link if you want to to book your seat. Okay. Um, then, then, then let me scroll up. Let me scroll up and see all the questions. Um, okay. Hi, Ayodeji. Lending rate is so low. I haven't checked lending rate. Uh, graphic design and web solution. I heard the polygon was CFI like Binance Smart Chain and not DeFi. Is that true? No, no, I don't think so. Uh, I know polygon is really decentralized. It's not like Binance Smart Chain. Uh, Abracadabra. Question for Julian. Did you saw the Swiss army knife of polygon called Polysafu? It has many use cases, but my favorite is polygon portfolio tracker, launchpad, and static yield farming. And they're moving to FTM. Okay. No, no, I don't know police Safu. Interesting. I'll check it out. Thanks, Abracadabra. Spinboy, Space Chain and Powers a, a blockchain in Uranus. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, but you know what? Like Space Chain, what they're doing is really amazing. I think it's one of the coolest company in the blockchain industry. Um no no no. Uh Ayodeji, why is nobody talking about XDAI? Mm. I think XDAI, they are focused on just the uh, ERC-20 token transfer. I'm not sure if they do generalized smart contract transaction. Uh, yeah, so I think it's one of the big limitations. Um, na, na, na. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, Simon, lol, the Polisafu is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, well, I got to check that. Uh, Trend, Ketlai. Hi, sir. What's the inflation? What's the limitation of solidity in blockchain market? What do you mean? You mean the... The limitation of the um, solidity, the um, I mean the programming language. Well, the limitation actually is not solidity itself. It's more a limitation of the blockchain because we are limited by by gas. We don't want to do something which is too uh, intensive in terms of uh, of uh, c computational uh, uh, power. So so because of this, uh, we cannot put too much stuff on on, on in solidity. But it's more a limitation of the blockchain. Um, then, 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 uh, then, and then, 
Abracadabra, the Polysafu is all you need for DeFi. In Polygon, they have feature token sniffer, which auto find new token at Polygon so you can invest in them. Wow, really, you gotta check that out. Uh, graphic design and web solutions saying, I think most of the big influencers are Black Bull, x die on purpose. I've asked that question on all the channels and they all blow it off or ignore it. No, I mean, you know, uh, there is... <laughs> There is no conspiracy, it's just that there is so much going on and personally I, I haven't seen a lot of uh, big news on XDAI but yeah, XDAI or no XDAI, I don't care if it's tomorrow th there is more, more things happening on, on XDAI I'm going to talk about it but I'm not for or against uh, any solution um, then, uh, then what do we have? We have Dixon, El Salvador opening up to crypto looks like Paraguay is following them in the same steps um, yeah, it's, it's really cool to see that there is no consensus across all countries about crypto. You have crypto who are for crypto. Uh, you have country which are for crypto, some that are others, because sometimes people are afraid that all the countries are going to get together and ban Bitcoin, ban Ethereum, etc. But uh, no, I think it's extremely difficult to achieve consensus among countries, even though sometimes you might have the illusion that we have consensus. For example, we... We just had this 15% uh, global corporate tax uh, that has been signed by uh, different countries, but it's just like a big announcement. But after this announcement, it, it doesn't mean that the actual law will be voted and maybe countries will find a way to, to fight it and to compete against each other in an in, indirect way. So yeah, countries are, do not have aligned interest. And because of this, it, that means it's impossible to ban crypto at, at a global scale. Um, yes, uh, okay. Then, 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 uh, then what do we have? Uh, Dixon Faddle say, I don't like the idea of a DeFi passport. Uh, just use my current assets as collateral. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very controversial idea. Um, I, I, I really don't know how they're going to make it work. Yeah. Um, I... IOYB bits. What do you think about Casper Labs? Uh, I I don't know about them. Um, Dixon. They should make a system that verify ownership and use of uh, of NFT. Yes. Um, Basic. Hello, bro. Hey, man. Um, Gary, did you see the Bitcoin conference? What are your thoughts? No, I did not have time to uh, to watch the replay. Um, uh, Dixon. Let creators rent them and list them by verifying ownership and permissions. Uh, I guess you're talking of NFT. Um, Bazek, can you explain Uniswap v3 new version? So you can watch, a, I think that was a, probably a few weeks ago, I, I talk in more detail about uh, Uniswap v3 Yeah, in a live stream. On, on, that was on a Monday. Uh, Renjit saying, press like. Thanks, man. Uh, MJS. Wow, that Coinbase foresight, time to invest on Coinbase stock. Yeah, I, I do think Coinbase probably in, a, in the next 10 years is going to 10x. I'm pretty sure about that. Batman, hello everyone. Hey man, uh, uh, smash the like button, everybody. Yeah, th thanks Batman for for all the support you provide to, to everybody. So Batman provides support in a, in, in a private Discord chat of it the blocks and it's doing a monumental work it's it's absolutely insane all the questions that are answered by batman man I, I think everybody really really appreciate you thank you very much um mgs what's your insight in atom looks promising um let me see let me see i lost track one second one second i lost track in the chat too many message no I, i'm kidding I, I like many message it's very good um Atom? No, I, I haven't looked at Atom. Um, Ranjit, if anyone know next 100x coin, please tell me now. Thank you. Well, I don't know if it's 100x, but I do think Polygon is a, a really good bet. Um, Simon, hey Abracadabra, can I buy can I buy the Polysafu? Uh, okay, I don't know anything about Polysafu. Um, then, 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 uh, self Nifi saying, oh no, not Dorsey, thought police. <laughs> um, to salut Julien, hey man, uh, Abracadabra, quick swap. Oh, this is a, a dex on, on Polygon. Um, Abracadabra, I'm done with Binance Smart Chain, only it the blocks is still there. Got wrecked so much at Binance Smart Chain, so many rug pull and hacks and flash on fails. Oh, really? Oh man, I'm, I'm sorry for you. Um, IOYB bits, what do you think about ApeSwap underrated? Uh, 
I, I, I just know vaguely, I think this is a dex on Polygon, but no, I, I didn't check it. Um, Self Nifi waiting on ING. I don't know about this project. Uh, Dixon, where do I buy Matic? Uh, on any decks like uh, Uniswap, uh, yeah, any any decks really. Uh, Ibrahim, uh, hi guys, hey man, uh, are you DG? Julian, can you can I have all the links discussed today um, in the in the description? Uh, wh what do you mean? You mean the um, you wh which which link are you DG? Um, Abracadabra, uh, Abracadabra, um, Binance, for example, problem is hard to withdraw. You need to buy Ethereum and withdraw your Matic with ETH to your to your wallet. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not following. I'm, my, my brain is blown off now. I'm not following. <laughs> Too much logic in a single sentence. <laughs> uh, THX is the live training on YouTube? No, no, it's a it's it's a private class on on Edoblocks. Um, Dixon Fadel Abracadabra on Binance Smart Chain. Can I use PancakeSwap because I'm limited to using Binance? Um, okay, well, if you if you can only use Binance, it means you cannot buy all the the DeFi coin. But the, the main DeFi coin you will find them on Binance. Um, then Oscanto. Uh, let me see, let me see, Oscanto, I saying, one second, I lost track in the chat, um, I lost track, I lost track, oh my god, where I am, where I am, okay, will Arbitrum will be on another chain like Polygon, I keep reading about L2 via sidechain, but uh, I can't get it, merci, no, so Polygon will be a layer 2 scaling solution, yeah, like Polygon, yeah, it'll be, it'll be like a Polygon alternative, basically, um Turk, what's your opinion on flashboard and have you checked out mixed uh x a uh, mixed transaction uh no i don't know mixed transaction yeah flashboard they are great because they allow to lower the transaction fees on ethereum a lot um you pass do you also give courses on the the weekend so the live training in general they are in the week time but uh, actually, most of the course on um, on the the Eat the Box Academy, they are pre-recorded videos, so they are self self-paced course. You can take them at any time, and even the live training, you have the the recording after the live training. Uh, na na na. Uh, IOYB Casper Labs is an ETH killer. I, I don't think so. Uh, Fabricio, talk about Solana. Yeah, maybe. Maybe later um, in the next uh, few weeks, uh, maybe I might talk about Solana. Uh, GSJ, what's up, Julian? Am I correct to assume that Viper is similar to Python and Solidity to JS? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, which language would you suggest to begin with? Uh, uh, Solidity is like 99.999% uh, of, of the job market and of the smart contract. They are, they are written with Solidity. So yeah, you can forget about Viper for now, e even if you are more familiar with Python and, and you, you would like you, you like the syntax, just, just use Solidity. Um, Na, na, na. Then what do we have? Um, Gary push views. Have you used the Alonzo testnet on Cardano? And your thought? No, not yet. But uh, pff, Cardano, I, I don't have a, I don't have too much into interest for Cardano to be honest. Uh, Raja weak link. Uh, hey man, uh, hey Raja, no, no spamming, please. No, no spamming. Uh, okay. Um, na, na, na. Then, 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 uh, okay, let me scroll down. Abracadabra, um, okay, now first, Bazek, can you help us on our DEX project? So me personally, I don't do freelance, but uh, I'm setting up a, a development team. So if you are interested um, in a uh, in freelance project, basically you can, I put the, I'm gonna put an email in the chat, Raphael, at eattheblocks.com, so there is a new team member at Eat the Blocks. So Raphael uh, deals with a freelance projects, so you can send him an email with your requirement and he will get back to you. Um, Abracadabra, AppSwap is a DEX at Binance Smart Chain, one of the, one of the best. Um, okay, interesting. Um, Shren, um, is this right safe space? Right, safe smart contract part of your jump started package class. No, 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 no. Uh, this live training, it's a separate thing, so you have to register separately. 
Um, this is not for beginner, okay? If you're a total beginner in 3D, do not take this training. It's only after you know how to write smart contract in 3D. Let me let me put copy paste the, the link in the chat. Uh, Abracadabra, thanks for stream, Julian. Ciao, thanks, man. Um, Perk boy, I'm unable to buy directly on Binance in India. None of the card work. Please suggest. Okay, so. Uh, guys, don't don't ask that kind of question. Like we we not really the the support of Coinbase or of Binance. So just just ask them directly. They they know better than us. Uh, Raga Vendra, I am a C sharp dev. Good good. Uh, yeah, it's always good when you have a tech background. You want to get in blockchain. It's, it's it's always going. It's always better than starting from scratch. Uh, Dixon, I very interested in joining the team. Which team? The the team of it the blocks. You mean? Um, Oh yeah, so for instructor, for people who are thinking of becoming instructor, they can send, they can check out our offer and contact us because we are hiring instructor for Eat the Blocks. Because as you can see, we are doing more and more course. Um, Ragendra, which tutorial you recommend to learn Solidity? Yeah, so I have a big playlist on my channel on Solidity, so you can do uh, you can do the whole playlist. I think it's like. 29 or 30 videos, a short video of uh, 5 10 minutes. It's one of the most popular series I have uh, on my channel. Uh, Bird, where do you get freelance blockchain job? Usually, uh, I mean, me, I have my, my YouTube channel, so so people come to me and uh, they they ask me if I can if I can help them. But otherwise, if you want to find some job, you have some freelancer website um like uh like upwork um yeah upwork is a big one um Muibi, can you make a tuto about how to deploy an ethereum private chain so you can check out i have a series on a hyperledger bezu uh, that pretty much answers your question um okay ami tava rlc coin i don't know this uh ed g dodge coin <laughs> Um, Bazek say, I would like to learn with you. Awesome. Yeah, so you'll find a lot of video on my channel if you want to learn blockchain. All right, guys, I think we are running out of question. Uh, that was great to have everybody. Thanks for following, and I will see you later, later this week. And uh, yeah, last reminder about the live training on security this week. If you want to check out the curriculum and you want to book your seat, uh, you can follow this link. All right, guys, have a great week. See you later. Bye-bye.